Hello, everyone. My name is Alan Ellison, running for the United States Senate. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with here, be with us here tonight uh, for our Fridays for Florida virtual discussion on gender equity. Just want to thank you for uh, bearing with me as I was going through some technical difficulties. Uh, but we wanted to talk about what gender pay inequality is and how can we move to a better uh, way forward. Uh, the definition of what gender equality or the gender wage gap is, it simply refers to the difference in earnings between women and men. Experts have calculated that this, uh, this gap is calculated based on a multitude of ways. Varying calculations point to a consensus that women consistently earn less than men. While analyzing the most recent Census Bureau data, and this data came from 2018. Women of all races earn just 82 cents for every dollar earned by men of all races. Population is the ratio of median annual earnings for women full time year round to those of their male counterparts. And it translates to a gender gap of 18 cents. When talking about the gender wage gap for women, it is important to highlight that there are significant differences in race and ethnicity. On June 16, 1963, President John F. Kennedy signed into law the Equal Pay Act. It was the first piece of legislation uh, that actually anti-discrimination laws that address wage difference on gender. The act made it illegal to pay men and women working in the same place, working uh, doing the, basically the same or similar work, different salaries. According to the Center for Progress or American Progress, the wage gap is larger for women of color, with black women earning 62 cents on the dollar. And the thing is, is that when women are being paid less than men for the same work, the fact that in America, a lot of women are the head of the household. It puts women at significant disadvantage. And if they're the head of the household, then it means that it's putting families at a significant disadvantage. And we wanted to talk about this because this is Women History Month. And the fact that in 1963, it became illegal for companies, employers to pay less than men for the same or similar work. And the fact that we still find that there are women being paid less, we have to have this conversation. Because if we want to have a more perfect union, if we want to improve the quality of life for everyone, that means that everyone needs to have a fair shake at opportunities, especially when they deal in the realm of finance. We can't have people that are to get ahead while making less. We can't have families that are struggling to do good when they are when they literally have resources to try and move forward with, with their life. And so that's why I'm looking to become your United States Senator so that I can help put teeth in the 1963 uh, Equal Pay Act law so that we can uh, make sure that employers are being investigated to ensure that women are being paid equal salaries for equal work. It is not too much to ask and we can do better. I want to make sure that every employer is being investigated, not only in the present, but we want to go back all the way to 1963 to make sure that women get back pay for all of the lost wages. Dr. King said that if you start off a race and you're behind, either one or two things are going to have to take place if you're going to have a shot at winning that race. Either the per person ahead of you is going to have to or you're going to have to speed up but if you are forever behind, you will never win a race. And so we want people winning. And in order for them to be winning, they need to be paid a good wage and they need to fairly. And that is why we're having this conversation right, on gender pay, gender pay equality. And we're talking about the gap. So thank you so much for taking the time to be here with us uh, tonight. We want to make sure you are engaged. We want to make sure that you are part of this conversation. So please, please join us for conversations on these issues that affect Floridians, that affect people from across the nation. 
uh, on our Fridays for Florida, virtual discussions. We have these conversations every single Friday. I look forward to any questions that you might have, any comments. Please be sure to put that right there in the chat. Uh, and I'll get to those questions and address your issues. We also have what we call the uh, Power Hour Town Hall, which is on Twitter. I have questions that you might have in under an hour, and we're getting ready to get here next. So please, if you don't have a Twitter account, download Twitter, join the conversation, and let's keep the conversation moving forward. Because that if we can talk about these issues enough, if we can raise enough awareness on these issues, we can leverage the power of our collective voice, hit the positive changes that we need on the issues that matter most to you. I know they matter to me. I remember when I was growing up, my mother, she worked very hard on her job. Sometimes she worked two and three jobs, taking care of seven children. And, and it is very important to know that my mother was raising seven children on less. She was literally being paid the men on her job, sometimes working harder than the men. And I know that there are millions of women across the state. There are millions of women across this nation that are trying to move their families forward on less. It's not right. And we can make the changes necessary to put this country on a new path forward. I wanna thank you. Please visit our website, alanellison.com. Follow us on all of the social accounts. Please share uh, this broadcast and join the fight. We're gonna make sure that being paid what they're supposed to be getting in this country. Thank you so much. You have a wonderful evening.